Uh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Speaker. Um, my honourable friend uh, will know that taxpayers with loan charge liabilities can already defer submission of their tax return until the 30th of September uh, of this year. Uh, HMRC have always worked very hard, and this is no exception in particular, uh, to support taxpayers who may need help to manage uh, their disguised remuneration liabilities and will continue to offer them the time they need uh, to settle. And that, of course, affects those uh, who may be uh, uh, affected by issues relating to the coronavirus. We go over to David Davis. David. David. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, the September of this year will be in the middle of the recession that we're about to face from this. But given the billion, the hundreds of billions the Treasury is already committing to supporting business to get us out of this recession, it will be a relatively trivial amount to uh, write off the damaging loan charge policy. Uh, originally, the Treasury forecast that they would raise 3.2 billion from this policy, less than two and a half billion from employees. What does he estimate he'll now raise? Minister. Uh, well, the Treasury will have published its uh, uh, estimate at the time of the original uh, tax uh, information note was published. Uh, I do think, however, that my honourable friend, I understand the passion he brings to the issue, but I would remind him that 99.8% of taxpayers uh, do not engage in disguised remuneration schemes, and the fact that we are supporting people across this country in their jobs and in their livelihoods is not in and of itself a reason to let people who owe tax off the tax that is due. 